Hello, Stefan. Hello, Interesse. Welcome to Studio Thank you for giving me the opportunity to visit you here on your farm. No problem. I'm a fourth generation farmer here uh, on Studio And the main crops are uh, grain and uh, grass seeds and uh, a bit of rape also. And the biggest uh, crop we have uh, is, I think, is winter wheat. Our soil type is uh, sandy loam, and we have about 800 millimeters per year uh, of rain. About uh, 8.5 8 tons uh, per hectare. So, Stefan, we're visiting your fields here today of uh, oil radish, and uh, you've been successfully growing cover crops for now many years, 10 years at least, on your farm here. Yeah. So, um, could you please tell us something about how, how do you establish your cover crops oil radish here on your farm? So, when we are finished harvesting in, in August, uh, we, uh, we establish these uh, cover crops and, uh, and they're growing on the field until uh, next spring. Okay, so, so you're actually, uh, <clears throat> part of the reason for having the cover crops is to improve soil fertility and thereby induce a higher yield in the following cash crops that you're growing here. Yes. This is the main purpose. This is the main purpose, purpose. of the cover crops, yes. Yes. Yeah. Nutrients get washed out uh, of, of the soil. Oh, so you have nutrient leaching. Yeah, and, exactly. and And the cover crops are actually pulling the nutrients up, further up in the soil column, in order to be available for the following crop. Exactly. Normally we, we say uh, that that a cover crop adds 25 kilograms of uh, nitrogen to the to the following crop, to the spring crop, and actually does as a reduction in the following fertilizer regime for the yeah, spring crop. Yeah. So that's interesting. So you actually can put a, a value on the yeah, the yeah. cover crop in then. Yeah. So it's easier to to uh, establish uh, the spring crops. Here on our farm, when we have two fields next to each other, one with co cover crops and one without, our experience is that the, the field with cover crops, we can plant two days earlier than the field without cover crops. Just, just straight after the combine, yeah. you come in with the, the disc sp uh, the spinner spreader, yeah. uh, working at a 12 meter working width, yeah. and uh, you spread roughly about was it 12 kilos 12 per hectare, per hectares, yeah, yeah. for oil radish. For oil radish, yeah. yes. And just straight after that, you come with a disc and you just disc it in, yeah. in order to get that seed to soil contact going. Exactly, and yeah. Fast germination because in cover crops, to my knowledge base, timing is the essence. As that's that's the main key to, to, to success. Uh, that's that's uh, timing. Yeah, because yeah. we all know here on the northern hemisphere that we are limited by sunlight and by yeah. temperature. Yeah, exactly. So it's time very is important. important to come straight after the combine. Tell me a bit about uh, in the springtime. That can be a, a as you say a fairly decent. Uh, cover crop here. Yeah. So how does it go into establishing the following crop? Well, uh, it depends on the year, uh, depends on the winter particularly. We, we live on the, the northern hemisphere and uh, some winters we have a, a decent frost that, that uh, kills the, the cover crop. To get a complete frost die off and it's yeah, just yeah. like... But, but it's not every year. Uh, uh, but Otherwise, we use uh, a, a burn down uh, with the sprayer. Yeah. And uh, a week or 14 days before we, we, we do the, the main tillage, the primary tillage of, yeah. of the soil. It's not a problem. It's not a problem uh, with the roots because uh, they uh, are decomposing uh, uh, pretty quickly after it, it gets burned down. Normally, we, we, we take uh, care of, of, of the crop by, by spraying it, uh, a, a burn down uh, with the sprayer or um, a tillage with the, with the disc harrow. Then we use the mulcher to mulch it down. So in order to just shorten the, the, the crop residue so it doesn't affect your following tillage operations, that's the, the key point here. Exactly, yeah. 
these cover crops, they do not come for free, no. I guess. No. So uh, what is the cost involved in having a cover crop of oil at Redditch like we're standing in here today? The total uh, cost of establishment and seeds are about 500 kroners per hectare. So the grand total of establishing this oil Redditch cover crop is uh, 54 euros per hectare. Yeah. So uh, is it worth it? In my opinion, it is. As I see it, we get an uh, improvement of uh, the soil fertility and uh, a higher yield in the following crop. Well, in this uh, case, we, uh, when we seed the, the ryegrass, for instance, we have a small uh, air seeder mounted on the big air seeder. And, uh, and then we, uh, we distribute the seeds down a hose and to a plate, uh, a distributor uh, that sows uh, the seed uh, between uh, the grain rows together with the, with the, the barley. That's a very efficient way of uh, seeding the cover crops. There's uh, virtually no extra cost oh, and associated it's because also. it's the same time. So yeah. that's a very convenient way to do it and efficient. Yes. The big difference is primarily the, the time because uh, to, to establish cover crops you need time after harvest and when we do it in, 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 in this way we save some time after harvest and we, we, we use the time in the spring and sow it together with, with the barley. Uh, and then we are done when when the uh, when the when the barley uh, when the combine has harvested the barley, then you have the grass underneath, and it can it, the growth uh, period is is longer. And this opens up the possibility to have a winter crop, actually, like a winter wheat, exactly. uh, soft red winter wheat sown in here in the autumn, exactly. and still have a cover crop, actually, between the two cereal grain yeah, uh, exactly. crops. The main difference between choosing ryegrass or oil radish as a cover crop in uh, uh, together with spring barley is that the oil radish would uh, outcompete the barley very quickly because it's growing so fast and the ryegrass is, uh, is a very small grass and uh, uh, the growth is so small in the start, so it, it won't compete with the barley. It's worth it for your perspective, also from an economy uh, perspective on your farm here, but uh, it's, uh, it's a sustainable way to do farming here. And you're hitting on, on sustainability in two ways, in my perspective. You have the one which the environmental impact is sustainable because you reduce nitrate leaching or nutrient leaching from the soil. You're actually doing some carbon lockdown in the soil as a carbon, I mean, carbon dioxide sequestering here, you're doing that. Yeah. Uh, we have a lot of plants growing. And uh, you also have the economy aspect. It's sustainable on your farm level because it's actually improving your soil fertility and you actually account for like 25 kilos of nitrogen per hectare extra on the soil. Yeah. So it actually have an, an economy impact also on your farm. Well, all in all, it's important to me to, to, um, to operate my farm in a sustainable way. Uh, and uh, that's where cover crops is uh, one of the measures to do that.